sorry, sir. You can't record in here. Uh, yes, I can, ma'am. I actually got to get a stamp. You can't record in here. Yes, I can, ma'am. You can't. No, you cannot. Take the pictures of people without their permission. Is that right? I, I need their permission. Is that what you're saying? Just stepped in a puddle, dude. Are you selling the car? Am I selling the vehicle? Yeah. How much you want it for? I'm telling you, you do not have my permission mm -hmm. to take my picture. Well, it's too late. Get out of here. Do I really have to teach you the laws, sir? Or do you want to call a supervisor? Oh, I will stay until closing now. He is an idiot. I'm an idiot, huh? Now you're definitely getting a... Now you're definitely getting a, uh... Complaint. Who comes up to a camera and says, don't take my picture? That's why you're leaving and I'm not. Bye, sweetheart. You're dismissed. What's going on, everyone? This is Press NH Now over here today in Sanford, Maine at the United States Post Office. We're going to be conducting a First Amendment audit to see if they respect our rights to film here in public. Please go like, share, and subscribe to my channel at Press NH Now. I appreciate all of your support. Also, check out my playlist to see some videos you might not have seen in the past. Hit that like button. Let all your friends and family know about my activism around the New England states. We're going to get right to it here, guys. We're going to look at Postal 7 and get a stamp. See how it goes. So we'll do a quick perimeter check. It's a good sized post office. I've seen a lot smaller. You know, it says government vehicles only. So that's a uh, parking enforcement. There's no uh, trespassing signs or restricted areas that I see. But I like to point this out also, um, the postal trucks and vans, um, they do not have license plates. They only have ID numbers, identification numbers. So you can see this one right here is 8427254 four, along with this one right here is 033742. So, they don't have front or rear license plates. Pretty sure they're exempt from that. So they do have identification numbers, just for your information. Stepped in a puddle, dude. Are you selling the car? Am I selling the vehicle? Yeah. How much you want it for? I don't know. I pay payments and I'm moving soon. I can't do payments on it. Alright, never mind. Thank you you. Alright. How much you want to do payments for? I don't know, like, a like grand down and maybe like. Hey, why don't you get out of the street, bud? No, it's fine. I just don't want you to get hit. Uh, if I can get a loan, I don't know if they do it, but I get, like, how does it run, though? That car right there? Yeah. That that right there? That's not... That, what makes you think that's my car? Oh, well, you know, I thought you were video chatting it. So. Oh, yeah. No, I'm just recording out here, man. That's it. Uh, yeah. All right. No, mind. Yeah. No problem, buddy. You, should, you might go go to the auction or something, you know? Auction? Uh, yeah. I mean, thanks for yeah, they got cheaper cars there, too. Hampshire. Yeah. Alright, thank you. Alright, buddy. Have a good one. Yeah. That was interesting. I'm sorry? Taking pictures of the public coming out of the, uh, are you taking pictures of the public coming out? Uh, yeah, I'm in public. I'm just taking any pictures I can, yeah. I mean, you're taking pictures of people coming out of the uh, post office. Yeah, I mean, if they're in public and they're in the camera, then yeah. Why? What? What's, what's the? the, well, what's the is there a problem or? Yeah, I'm just asking. What's the reason for it? Oh, uh, it's just my business. I'm just out here taking some pictures and videos. I'm do I'm just working on a story for the post office and stuff. Oh, for the post office. No, not. I don't work for the post office. No. When well, you're taking pictures of people without 
their permission. Is that right? I, I need their permission. Is that what you're saying? Do you? Do I don't need anybody's permission? No. No. Yeah. It's just the laws, man. You know, it's my right to be out here. That's all. Oh, okay. I'm just wondering. Not harassing anybody or anything, you know. I'm just wondering why you were taking the picture. Yeah. I'll probably end up saying this spiel about 20 more times before I leave. So the second one that comes out and asks me, they're shit out of luck. I give it one time. I give the story one time. And that's it, buddy. Have it going. Thank you. Got some B roll footage. What's that? I'm sorry? Why are you taking my picture? What do you mean? Who are you? I d I've you never seen you in my life. No, you took my picture when I got out of my car. Who are you and why are you taking pictures of people in the post office? I, I've never met you in my life. I have no idea who I you are. I say you knew who I was. Yeah. I'm telling you. You do not have my permission mm -hmm. to take my picture. Well, it's too late. Get out of here. Get out of here. Don't touch me. Look. I don't need your permission, ma'am. Yeah, you do. No, I don't, ma'am. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to waste my time with you. You should understand my rights in the law, ma'am. I do. No, you don't. You're going to look very silly. And we got a Karen, guys. Cadillac. All right, it's getting fired up now, guys. And uh, I haven't said anything to anybody that hasn't approached me. There's always that one. See, so when you're misinformed and you come at me like that, then uh, there's no point in trying to educate and tell somebody um, on and over and over and over again what you're doing is okay. So I'm just not going to waste my breath with her all my time. I'm sorry? Who comes up to a camera and says, don't take my picture, seriously? I do. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, and that's pretty right. stupid, to tell you the truth. Yeah, it's none of your business. Just keep exactly. going about your day. Go Just go day. about your day, ma'am. I don't ask you what you're doing. Bye, Karen. Unbelievable. She made a fool of herself. And now she's the exception to my story. Problem? Not at all.
Here come the cops, guys. Here they are, Sanford PD. Car number seven. I haven't even gone inside to buy a stamp yet. We'll see if that's a uh, struggle after this encounter. All right, you. Pretty good, thanks. And this is one I follow. Sorry, sir, you can't record in here. Uh, yes, I can, ma'am. I actually got to get a stamp. You can't record in here. Yes, I can, ma'am. You can't. No, you cannot. Ma'am, it's on your postal rules and regulations. Go out there and show me. It's inside. No, I can show Yes, it is. I work here. No. Ma'am, I can show you. I can talk to the officer and I can show you postal 7. It should be right there, actually. Do you mind? And I'll show you your rules. Go out there. I'll go read it. No. How you doing, sir? I gotta conduct some business and I'm trying to show them now their rules and regulations and they're refusing to allow me to do that. So if you wanna educate if you wanna educate yourself, I'll show you right here. Photographs for news, advertising, or commercial purposes. Read your post of seven, ma'am. Thank you for reading it for me. You're welcome. Privacy, so There's actually no expectation of privacy in public. Hey, come on in. Do I really have to teach you the laws, sir? Or do you want to call a supervisor? You can take a picture all you want, just don't delete it because I'm going to FOIA request that. Okay, sure. All right, and so it's against the law. Public official? I'm sorry? And I'll do the same for that. Are you a That's not going to happen. You got to get a warrant. Neither, you can only photograph in here <laughs> if you're doing it, is. it for public service. It is. Are you doing it for public service? Because I can read this to you. Because I guess you had a hard time reading it. Can I have your name, badge number, sir? No, you can't. Can you read this? For you're me? gonna call a supervisor, sir. Read this for me. Because you're reading I'm, wrong. I'm Dealing with the police right now. Yeah. How you doing, sir? Are you a supervisor? He's just looking to start. What's your yeah? You're a fucking idiot, dude. What's your name and badge number? What's your name? Don't refuse, sir. I'm gonna file a complaint on you. What's your name? What's your name and badge number, sir? Hey, Joe Fogle. 
Hi. Sir, what's your name and badge number? It's your policies. Be professional. Hi. What is your, what is it? He is an idiot. He is an idiot. I'm an idiot, huh? Now you're definitely getting a, now you're definitely getting a uh, complaint on you, buddy. Both of you. I know. Okay, buddy. That's why you're leaving, right? Three, two, three. That's why you're leaving, right? That's why you're leaving and I'm not. Bye, sweetheart. You're dismissed. Do you have permission to come in here and take photographs? Let me see. No, you know it all. You know it all. Well, I'm going to so, show you. No, let me read it to you. I don't need to be right read. Right here. Other photographs may be taken only with the yep. permission of the local postmaster. You that's got, it. That's you got in, his permission? That's in restricted areas. No. no Ma'am, I have a very good lawyer, okay? okay. And I've okay. done this a hundred times. Uh, okay. Let me go buy a stamp. And I'll be on my way. Because you cannot photograph in here. You cannot refuse me services, ma'am. I'd like to buy a stamp. Okay, you cannot. Let's call the inspection service. Let's see what they say. All right, call FPS. Call what? FPS, Federal Protective Services. No, that's not the inspection service. It's the postal service. They have jurisdiction. Where's your counter? Over there. Ma'am, I'm not here to stir anybody up. I'm just doing my business and I'm leaving. What are you here for? That is not my fault, ma'am. I didn't say anything to anybody. I was approached. You're taking pictures of the... Anybody's permission That's to take... Personal when they come where they live. No, I do not. That is not what? public information. What is your name? And what are you here for? Exactly this what are purpose. You here for? This whole shebang what? that you caused. I caused? How did I cause this? What's your name, ma'am? What's your name? What is your name? What is your name? It's your policy to identify yourself. You have a badge. Right. You need to give it to the public. What is no, it? No, I don't. Are you the postmaster? Show me where it says that. Are you the postmaster? No. What is your name? Never mind. I'm sorry. What is your name? You're looking great. You're, You're not very idiot. professional. This is how you treat the public? Is this how you treat the public? You're harassing the women. I haven't come said in a here. word to anybody no. who. No, you're stalking them and taking their photos, so I'm just going to escort you here and make sure you don't do anything dumb. That's fine. I'm not the one who's being dumb here, ma'am. You guys have just caused a whole scene. You've caused a whole scene for absolutely nothing. And you? Where's your postmaster? What are you doing? Is your postmaster available? No. Are you the postmaster? You asked me that already. What did I say? You didn't identify yourself. I don't have to identify myself. If you're you. telling me to leave federal property, then you need to identify I didn't yourself. I you had to leave. I told you you couldn't come in and take photographs. I'm not. Oh, I will stay until closing now, ma'am. Well, I am not. It's going to need more than a penny to buy a stamp. I need a penny stamp, ma'am. Perfect. You don't want to identify, huh? I'll call, I'll call the postal inspector and I'll have you identified and I'll file a complaint. I need a uh, receipt too, please. You guys are getting schooled today, huh? Nobody wants to identify and they work for the general public, don't they? Very professional. Do you have a name badge, ma'am? So you're going to refuse your name, too? You're not going to identify either, huh? All right. Complaints are going out. Is your postmaster? And it's out of date. Two thousand seven. They're doing a great job here.
Okay, now they scatter like roaches when the cameras come out. Let me know what that inspector says. I'd like to talk to them. So Sanford PD got dismissed, didn't want to identify, very unprofessional, yeah this one right there. He's going to drive off, watch, you'll see. There are the lights. There they go. He's going to wait till I come up there and then he's going to leave. Yep. See you later. Shoe fly. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. And that's how you do it, guys. I'm gonna make one more round inside. And then uh, get another stamp. And then head out. Need another stamp. I do, please. Did you call the postal inspector? Did you call the postal inspector? Did you call the postal inspector? Thank you. Thank you. Do you have a one cent stamp, Karen? One cent stamp, Karen. I don't have one. So other means you got put in your place, huh? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you did. Alright, so one penny. Yep. You have the applications done? Yes. Okay. Are you going to need the photo? Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate it. Do you have a receipt for that? Okay. Yeah, of course. Thank you for wearing your name tag, too. I appreciate that. I'll give you a five star. Them two, on the other hand, they're getting complaints on them. So you get, you can learn from Lisa. There you go. All right, I'll call her Karen for now on. Have a good day. Have a good one. All right, guys. So I'm actually gonna go do a live stream over at the P to get those officers identified. Go check that out in the description. It hasn't happened yet. As I'm filming, obviously, I haven't been there, but I will be over there in a few minutes from this video. And um, go check it out, link will be in the description. All right, everyone. So that's it over here at the post office in Sanford, Maine. 
and um, got a bunch of Karens in my face and then two police officers came from Sanford PD who uh, refused to identify so if you'd like to know who they are um, you know what to do everything will be in the description and um, call all your grievances guys let them know how you feel about their performance and uh, how unprofessional or professional you think they are and file your own complaints on your own behalf regarding this incident I appreciate all you guys please like share and subscribe to my channel at press NH now I appreciate all the support hit up that playlist and uh, check to see some videos you might not have seen in the past hit that like button let everybody know friends and family about my activism in and around New England that's it for this. I appreciate your support once again. See you in the comment section. Check your description. Press an H now. Over and out.